fellow fan geeks, it's your fangirl Tally, and it's time for another episode of Fallout. Episode 3. Do you see? Editor Hubby got me a new Fallout fan geek shirt. I'm so excited. I love it. I'm wearing it for every single one now. It looks great on me too. I'm so excited. He does so great dressing me. I'm so lucky. Anyway, enough, enough uh, chit chat. Let's do this. I just love the aesthetic of this show so much because I love 50s and 60s, the colors, the just the retro vibe, all of the the curves and just just I don't know. The clothes. I love the clothes and the jewelry and just just the whole aesthetic really really it's the clothes cuz I have the body for it with the, what does my grandmother call them, birthing hips. Is that real? And dignity. Smooth. Um, hospital work. Clean out the purple food in my mouth. Oh, horrible. Daddy? No problem. You gotta ask your mother. Please, mommy. Sure, sweetheart. Aww. Okay, Janie. Let's go. 
Hmm. Why does this fill me with the sense of extreme foreboding and nothing good? Like, all I can think is this is the worst thing ever. Oh. Oh, good. Decapitated body right from the start. Oh, right. Wizig. Welzig? Wizig? Is the ghoul coughing, or does he drag someone along? I guess it's the ghoul. Oh, right, he probably needs his injections. He's alive. It is ridiculous how excited I am over the show, you guys. It literally is. Oh my god. And I literally hate everyone responsible in the copyright gremlins downstairs basement for not letting us use this song. Because the song is Fallout. Like, when Editor Hubby is playing Fallout, I don't listen to music while I write because this is playing. Fallout has one of the best soundtracks. I love it. What about you guys? Anyone else out there love the, the soundtrack to, to Fallout? It is disturbingly soothing. Despite it being tragic, safe to keep deviled eggs. Huh? Maybe not touch that. played the game. I'm a passive watcher and usually doing my own thing while he's playing. Oh, that's right. She, she just had the one wedding night. Oh, maybe she's talking about him. Titus. Over. 
This is Petty Officer Short Sight. You missed your check in. We were attacked. <laughs> By an abomination. And my squire, he fell in battle. He died with honor and glory. You copy that? We'll get you replacing the squire. No, no. I'm okay. All good here. What's he doing? Probably shouldn't have just left that there. I mean, a big shiny armor suit is going to get ripped to shreds. They are going to scrap that bitch fast. Really? Extra, if you do it fast. Really? That's all it took? Bip. He's gonna get back and that thing is gonna be stripped, right? Yep. Oh, that's right. He's learned fighting. You better get better at it. Weapons are good. He has no gun, though, right now, right? Because he's... Oh, shit, shit, shit. And he's without teeth. Oh, he's going to lose it. I told you not to leave it strung up. head. Now you have no caps, no teeth, and no armor. Uh-oh, you shouldn't have done that. Because he's got the part. And he knows how to work it. Oopsie daisy. Wrench. Toilet seat and wrench. Those are some interesting choices. Yeah! You want to fight? You get some cash. Probably not where 
sure you want to do it. Not so big without your boss, are you, babe? Uh oh. Come with reinforcements. Who did they send? Guy who hates him. Oh, Lord. I also bring new orders from the Elder Claire, uh, which I humbly relay. Mm. Not the only ones that search this render from the old world. The Elder Claire says, whoever gets the target will control the wasteland. And uh, we are to kill whomever stands in our way. Why do I feel like I'm constantly on edge? Oh, this is pretty. I thought we were just in a desert. Hollywood is a swamp. So lush and green. Is that a deer? Who's watching her?
Whatever's in that water, get away from. Wrong way! Got the head! You need the head, lady. Oh, it's a gulper. What on earth? because some bonehead opened the door to the surface. A single bad decision that put everyone at risk. Not just Vault 32, but 33 and 31 as well. I've telegrammed with the overseer at Vault 31. Thank goodness they're unscathed. But you could have destroyed the last vestiges of civilization. It was Lucy's idea. And you didn't think to at least try and stop her? No. What are we going to do with you? Finish me with a demotion, I guess. You've worked janitorial, you've done kitchen duty. Are you aware that at every job you've been assigned to, your performance review has been lax enthusiasm? No, but that sounds accurate. You're currently working with computers and information maintenance. But how do you like that? I lack enthusiasm. It's like you're gonna lose How do you do this one who equally dislikes every job he's ever worked at? I suppose it is. I'm just glad to hear that you punish people down here for breaking the rules. Is that just for vault dwellers or for people who come down here and murder vault dwellers? Yeah. 
after all. He's feeding the people who are prisoners? This is going to start to be a problem. It's dead. This sucks. You're the sir. Getting. Headless. The illustration of his face. Follow the footprints. <laughs> Until he finds out he's been following Maximus this whole time. That's going to be a reveal. Earth. You know, 
do these things called studies. Or you couldn't open a newspaper without reading about one study or another. Anyway, this one particular study came out, and it said that torturing a person don't do shit. That's not true. Have mercy. There is something coming. to others as you'd have done unto you. What did she break? Was it the pictures of his family? Stay with the head. Oh my god, guys. This show is going to give me a heart attack. Sorry, I'm there with my duties. Oh. What are you doing? Oh, just pulling your water bag so you can stay hydrated. Sit down. Let you uh, 
seen some things, huh? The other night? I seen some things. I grew up uh, working on a fly farm. I was a shitter. So they'd feed us and then they'd feed our shit to the flies, mulch them up, and sell it as protein. Anyway, that's why I'm so fat. So, you're a uh, former squire. Do something about him. Well, he, uh, he's a good guy. There's something negative about him. Well, uh, he, he's, he's dead. I don't know. It feels weird. The order of my squire. Okay. Uh, to be honest, me and the guys used to be pretty hard on him. I'd like, regularly beat the shit out of him. It wasn't personal, you know? It's just... People at the base, they used to beat the shit out of me all the time. This shit where new recruits came in, and uh, one of them. Well, Max, yeah, I was really popular. It's great. I just wish you lived long enough to find someone else to beat up, you know? Once it was fair. I realized that uh, people die all the time. It's a lot of wasteland, so who cares, right? to the surface stars and to each other what we mean when we say we're going to build a better world. Thanks, Rex. That is a positive spin to put on. It's not a positive spin for me. It's the gosh darn truth. Okay. Well, uh, the fact remains we need to decide what to do with these prisoners, and that is a decision that we need to make as a collective in a manner befitting our shared values. I think this conversation would benefit from some actual ideas. Well, you know what? The young man Woody interrogated this morning? He left an impression on me. That is the gentleman who showed me his weapon. Yes, but what I took from that is a desire to communicate, to reach out across the cultural divide. That's a spark we can work with to create a great citizen. Given our recently dwindled numbers, the most ethical solution would be to rehabilitate the prisoners and then integrate them into our vault society. To be clear, this is not a process that will happen overnight. Based on what I saw this morning, it may take years. But, but there is nothing we can't do when we set our minds to it. I can teach the Raiders Shakespeare. And when they're ready, Marlowe. I don't want to be insensitive, but I think Shakespeare might be too advanced for these people. But I would like to start with a moral framework. Kant, Mill, and, and so on. I'd be happy to teach them introductory calculus. Is there something you'd like to say, Norm? I don't know. I don't think it's our job to help these people. They're murderers. They didn't know any better. And how could they without a formal education? Norm, buddy, the hard truth is we can't just let them go. <laughs> they have intimate knowledge of our vault security. So what do you propose we do? We can do what they would have done to us. Wow. Jeez, the reason Norm was like, hey. Young Norm was just expressing a feeling. I know, I I've got anger, we all do. But I think he would agree that murdering these prisoners of ours is not under serious 
consideration. Here, here. I'm sorry. You're right. It was not my intention to question your leadership, Overseer. Thank you. Uh, sirs? Uh, sirs? Uh, uh, may, I, may I speak to you for a moment? Uh, it's about the water chip. Go ahead. It's, it's, it's the type of thing Overseer McLean would have preferred to discuss uh, privately uh, before bringing it to the full group. Well, he's not here now, is he? Let's hear it. Okay, well, uh, the water chip's destroyed. The vault only has enough water to keep our population alive for uh, two months. And, and that's not accounting for the prisoners. Okay, that's fine. That's enough. Thanks, no? <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh, Overseer. Oh, she is creepy. And why is her eye missing? It's been missing this whole time. And she is the only pregnant person in that vault. How is that possible? I mean, I know they have a controlled breeding program, but still. Is that a mosquito? Was that a mosquito? I thought our mosquitoes were big. I mean, this year they're like huge. Good job. the water, stupid. That's what that was? Good job. You just ticked it off. They ripped its insides out. That's disgusting. Absolutely horrifyingly disgusting. Hey, but they get the head. You saved me. You saved me first. It ate the girl. He's going to think it ate the girl. Oh no, that's right. Oh, stupid.
Never should have left it behind. Now what are they doing? Where exactly is he taking her? Catalina Crest Studios? He always plays an asshole so well. Dick. What good is she if she's dead? I mean, why not give her at least a sip? I don't understand the thought process there.
Guys, that is so screwed up. <sighs> Alright guys, comment below. Let me know. What did you think? Are you loving this as much as I am? I am so, so obsessed. Please like this video. If you're not already a fellow fan geek, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys!